In this video, we will obtain diethyl phthalate by Fischer esterification. Fischer esterification consists of the formation of an ester by refluxing a carboxylic acid and an alcohol with an acid catalyst. Diethyl phthalate is used in industry to provide flexibility to plastics used to make toothbrushes, tools, toys, and food packaging. It is also used in the production of cosmetics, insecticides, glow sticks, medicines, and to denature ethanol due to its bitter taste. To obtain diethyl phthalate, we will use phthalic anhydride instead of phthalic acid, ethanol with a concentration of 99%, and concentrated sulfuric acid as a catalyst. In a 250 milliliters flask, we put 17 grams of phthalic anhydride and dilute it with 150 milliliters of ethanol. After all the substances have been dissolved, 6 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid is slowly added. For two hours, the mixture is heated at reflux. Once reflux is complete, set up distillation equipment and distill as much ethanol as possible under normal pressure. After cooling, the remainder of the distillation is washed twice with 50 milliliters of saturated sodium hydrogen carbonate solution. Separate the organic phase and the aqueous phase with a separating funnel. The aqueous phase is discarded. Anhydrous magnesium sulfate is used to dry the organic phase and it is allowed to stand for a few hours. Filter to separate magnesium sulfate and wash the desiccant with about 50 milliliters of ether to extract as much ester as possible. The 50 milliliters of ether is attached to the dried ester. The filtered product is distilled. First, the ether is distilled at 34 degrees, and once it is distilled the ether, the vacuum is connected and the ester is distilled. During distillation, a white solid crystallizes in the condenser, which could potentially clog it. We have stopped the distillation and verified that the solid that crystallizes in the condenser can either be monoethyl phthalate or unreacted phthalic anhydride. Looking for physical properties of monoethyl tolate, I found that its melting point is 46 to 48 degrees and of phthalic anhydride 131 degrees. Assuming that this solid is monoethyl tolate or phthalic anhydride, indicating that the esterification was not complete. To complete the reaction to diethyl tolate, recover as much solid as possible by dissolving it with ethanol. Pour the solution into a 250 milliliters flask, completing the volume of alcohol to 100 milliliters, and slowly add 12 milliliters of sulfuric acid. Heat on reflux for three hours. We operate the same as before, distill the ethanol until it is complete, and neutralize it twice with 50 milliliters of concentrated sodium hydrogen carbonate solution. Dry with anhydrous magnesium sulfate and filter. Wash the desiccant with a small amount of ether and filter everything from it into a distillation flask. At 34 degrees, distill all the ether first. The rest of the product is vacuum distilled. This time the liquid ester is obtained that distills at a temperature between 200 and 220 degrees at 80 millimeters. The boiling point of the product obtained has been determined. The theoretical boiling point of diethyl tolate is 290 degrees. In my test a boiling point of 286 degrees was obtained. The yield was 59% with the phthalic anhydride reference. 